Hello. Again, we're doing probability and odds, and in this specific lesson, we're going to focus on something called sample space. And sample space is pretty interesting, and you can do this a lot of different ways. But what I do with my students when I first introduce this is I talk about Portillo's. It's a restaurant in Illinois. I don't know if it's anywhere else. But anyways, and of course, my students say, oh, I'm hungry. Now I'm thinking about all this food. Like, okay, good, good, good. Now let's get to what we're supposed to, because, you know, when you talk about food, it draws everybody's attention. So... I'm going to use this sample space right here to decide how many different options I have of ordering something. And I wrote uh, two options here, two options here, and three options here. Let me explain what those are. So H stands for hamburger, C stands for cheeseburger, F stands for fries, O stands for onion rings, D stands for Diet Coke, uh, S stands for a shake, and W stands for water. And basically what you want to do is you want to order a uh, main a side dish, and some kind of drink, and see what you can produce from that. How many different options can you produce? Now, you're supposed to get only one of these, one of these, and one of these. Well, it's pretty easy to do that. Uh, there's a lot of different ways. I'm going to show you how you do it practically, and then figure out something using the counting principle. So, I can have a hamburger, fries, and a Diet Coke. Hamburger fries shake, hamburger fries water. So that's three options. Now let's try something else. Let's try hamburger onion rings and then Diet Coke. I don't know how. Hamburger onion rings Diet Coke, hamburger onion rings uh, shake, hamburger onion rings water. We've already exhausted everything that we can do with hamburgers. Now let's work with cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers, fries, Diet Coke, cheeseburgers, fries, uh, shake, cheeseburgers, fries, water. Now let's work with cheeseburgers and onion rings. And there you go. If you count up all the options that you can make, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But there is an easier way to figure out what a sample space is. And what I mean by sample space very simply is just all the options that you can pick, all the possibilities you can pick, and that's really the introduction into probability. Now there is a much easier way to do this. There's two sides, so you take two times, I'm uh, sorry, two uh, main uh, entrees times two sides, and there's three of these. Multiply them all together, two times two times three is twelve much simpler way to do that, but that's the introduction into what we're talking about when we're talking about probability. Now this is an algebra little tutorial, so we're going to focus a little, bit, uh, a little bit on probability, but sample space is a good way to start with. I hope that helps. We're going to keep moving on with that. We'll see how it goes. Take it easy for now. Goodbye.